I am not a Nigerian. I am a Biafran fighting for the Biafra freedom. Brother, talk to us about uh, what um, Samanapa is saying that he's born to help Nandekalo achieve Biafra. And as, as long as Biafrans are resolute, that he will stand with them and that he will achieve it. This is why Ejofo is accusing Samuel Nepa. Because you know that Samuel Nepa were born to help Nam Dekalo to achieve or to continue the struggling of Biafra restoration. As if he know that Nam Dekalo or Nam Dekalo himself know that you be in this condition. And now Ejofo with the government is working for, pretend that he's defending Nam Dekalo. Think it twice. If they are not able to nail someone Nepa down, holding Nam Dekalo is meaningless. Because holding Nam Dekalo is to bring Biafra down. And uh, someone Nepa wasn't strong wearing the shoe of Nam Dekalo in absence of Nam Dekalo. We still achieve what they don't want Nam Dekalo to achieve. Therefore, someone, uh, a Jofo, want to destroy someone Nepa and the making Nam Dekalo to languish in detention in the pretense that he was defending him. But thank God, everything have exposed. Everything have exposed. Nam Dekalo have known who are his lawyers and who are now not his lawyers. Now we have known who are working within Nam Dekalo or who are not working within Nam Dekalo. And what someone Nepa said is the reality. Is the reality. He was born to help Nam Dekalo. Because if you see how things were going on, had there been people like Nam Samuel Nepa, it's not available to move to move on. <laughs> to move on. The case of releasing Nam Dekalo and the authorization of Biafran restoration could have been in vain. Who could forward it? Who could have that heart? That lion heart. That lion braveness. Like someone, someone Are you saying uh, someone has lion hearts? Have a lion brave, braveness? Yes, he has lion hearts. He has, has lion braveness. This is why the jungle accommodates him because he is the lion and the jungle is the feeling. You remember that before now you have said that uh, he's a lion in the jungle. I mean, someone Yes, because the spirit of lion has possessed him. You've been looking at him like a human being. But he's a lion, inwardly. He's a lion spiritually. You understand? The spirit of his ancestors, from the place he was originated, aborigin, go and ask about someone like lineage. They believe that they are warriors. They never give up. They are good in any the combatants. And they never pursue anything and say, I am weak. Which means, they are born with the spirit of lion. When they roar, all the whole animal in the jungle will come down. This is why, as someone is speaking, moving around, is roaring, and the fear is glitting enemies of Biafra, enemies of Nam Dekalo, betrayers of Biafra, betrayers of Nam Dekalo, like a, a lawyer, a Jofo, that made him to be shouting to bring someone down. That is why Nigerian chief of army staff. Or defense headquarters, we are crying. Get someone up down. Get someone up down. Because someone is roaring like a lion, and that roaring is disturbing them. And the roaring of someone is in assistance of Nam De Kalo to accomplish what Nam De Kalo could have done before they hold him. Someone is accomplishing it. So that when Nam De Kalo finally released, you know, starting afresh, struggling. You, someone only had him over everything and the soldiers. Are you sure, even that the Kalu is released, that someone will eventually hand over to him? Or we are going to likely go to see two fashions of uh, their fragitators. As far as Nam De Kalu and Samuel Nepa is concerned, there will be no two fashions. But the only thing that will make two fashions to come out, unless Nam De Kalu came out and they say he's dropping from agitation of Biafra. So you are confidently saying if the car comes out today, someone will hand over to him. I have quite confidence because that man, I never see him as a woman be speaking lie. Check his record. Check his record. A person to the extent that Midal, I think, God Midal, he won for Nigeria, I think, come on, wait. 
game. They return it to Nigeria. Go and check Akanu Ibiam. The same thing Akanu Ibiam did. And Akanu Ibiam came from the same state with Nam with uh, Samuel Nekpa. Eboi, Eboi. So they are they are people that have the heart for the interest of their friends. Are you understand? Nam the girl is not from Anambra. I mean, Samuel Nekpa is not from Anambra or from Imo. We used to betray themselves. Because if you come in Biafra land now, the most betrayers are Imo and Anambra. This is an allegation you are living against Imo and Anambra. I came from Imo. What allegation? I'm telling the truth. Imo, Anambra, in betrayer of Biafra cause, and I'm going fear them. Although Abia said it's included, but Imo and the Anambra are the father and mother. Remember, both Enugu states, both Ebo states, both Abia states, we are born out from Imo and Anambra. They are the father and the mother of betrayer of their Francos. Look at it. Zeke, Anambra, get on by the way, Imo. Can you see it? How did Zeke uh, betray Biafra? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Are you not following the history? The people want to hear from you. It's not about whether I'm hearing the uh, following this. The people that want to hear about you know about it, but I can refresh their memory. Uh, in a brief uh, summary, refresh our memory. Okay, Ziku was one of them that wrote the Afrian National Anthem. Ziku was one of them that signed for the declaration of Biafra. Because of Ziku, not to turn the Zogu Revolution as Ibo Manku, because they say Ziku wasn't among those that killed and he's supposed to be among those that killed because of Zeke not went to into rampage against their friends against Igbos and the when the war broke out Zeke come as if was supporting Biafra Zeke follow Ojuku to Gabon meeting with uh, this man to meet this man for Biafra recognition uh, Omongo at the end what happened when they look for on soccer for Zeke refused to go out. Zeke refused. He joined the Nigerian army. Was he a combatant in the Nigerian army or how do you mean he joined the Nigerian army? He joined the Nigerian army, working for the Nigerian army, using his influence. Using his influence as well known stupid politician from Igbo land. No, don't use foreign language on a global platform. Try to modify, uh, okay, moderate okay, your language. Okay, okay. Using his language as Okay, I'm sorry, so first sorry to use uh, a stupid. Hate speech is not allowed. I, 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 have, I have apologized. Hate speech is not allowed. But using standing as untrustable, un untrustable politician from Igbo land is influenced as that. Then working for Nigeria, even when British government who support Nigeria come to supply arms to us. Zeke was the one that came out and said, Look, oh, two brothers are fighting and their mother giving them arms to kill themselves. British betrothal, supplying to Nigeria only. Zeke did not talk anything. He keeps silent. When Russia came to, su came to support Nigeria, Zeke keeps silent. When China came to support Nigeria, Zeke keeps silent. When Italy came to support Nigeria, Zeke keeps silent. Zeke was. In Enugu, Enugu fall. Zeke is still, still living in Enugu, only in heaven. Having radio communication, radio co conversation with the with the with the with the Zeke, with the Gowan. Tell the Gowan what to do. Zeke went to um, Liberia, Morovia. When uh, Goda was the president, they sit down to because of they call special. OAU meeting for Biafran issue. They asked Zeke, now, what do you say concerning Biafra? The people have fought well. Why can't you support them to... How do you say you are speculating? It's a history, not speculation. I'm telling you that it's a history. When I do, I quote, tell you the name of people that was there. Tell how it happened. Then Zeke said, no, over his dead body, that Biafra will go. He believed he won Nigeria. 
That was the day they give him Zeke of Africa. That was the day they give him, that taught him Zeke of Africa. Now, even the Britain themselves that were supporting Nigeria call Zeke, send for your people to go. Zeke said, no, over his dead body. The five states that support Biafra, Every coast that time, now Cote d'Ivoire, um, um, Zambia, Gabon, Tanzania, the president of that time, one of them came and called Zeke. You want the people to finish? Support them, send for them to go. Because the United Nations and other world were waiting for Zeke's signatory for Biafra. He said, No, over his dead body. He will allow Biafra to go unless after his death that Biafra will go. That his father told him to stand in one Nigeria. Now, the father that told Zeke, I don't know the father that told Zeke to go to kill his brothers. If Zeke is an evil man. I'm thinking of Zeke now. Okay, now. On 1978, I mean 1970, 1969, sorry, 1969, towards, I think towards August, September or so, Zeke went to Enugu, I mean went to London, in BBC, and called Biafra soldiers, called Biafra to abandon Ojuku, to abandon Ojuku. And before then, Zeke could travel. Zeke could take presidential jets that go and send to him. That go and send to him to pick him and land in Lagos here, Ikeja Airport, not International Airport, because what you have before is Ikeja Airport, which is local airport now. And Zeke was in plane there. He came down. Journalists interview him. He said he was going to London before the plane made a mistake and landed in Lagos because he wanted to refuel. And Jonathan saw him and started interviewing him. And from Menugu to Lagos, how many hours? 45 minutes. That the pilot don't know that plane will finish to go to London. No, 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 let me finish you up. You are asking me how Zeke betrayed Biafra. Now, look at it. The same day, Zeke at the Gowan, meeting 